Alabama lawmakers are placing another bet on gambling in Alabama. State Senator Greg Albritton unveiling his latest effort this afternoon. Yeah, but Albritton's last roll of the dice came up short last year in the House to legalize gambling, and time is running out. Fox 2 News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby now joining us here in studio. And Brendan, some skeptics think it's late in the legislative session to be trying something like this. Yeah, that's true, Shelby and Byron, and as you noted, there's a whole graveyard filled with past gambling proposals, but supporters think this year could be different. Standard thing. This year's gambling proposal from State Senator Greg Aubritton looks a lot like last year's. It would create a statewide lottery and allow for casinos and sports betting. It also would set up a statewide gaming commission that would regulate and tax existing and new gaming operations. You've seen most of this before. It, much of it mirrors what we had last year. That legislation passed the Senate but never got a vote in the House of Representatives. Senator Albritton estimates total revenue would be between $750 and $800 million, perhaps more. There'd be a 20% tax on net casino revenue and sports betting, with the proceeds split between the state's general fund and the local governments where the gambling operations are located. Most of the lottery revenue would fund scholarships. The bill would allow for up to five casinos, including one each at the four dog tracks. One of those is Mobile Greyhound Park in Theodore. In a new twist, this year's version of the proposal would allow two smaller satellite casinos with fewer slot machines. The Alabama Track Owners Association has aired ads statewide since the end of last year, and spokesman Robert Kennedy says the current legislation marks progress. This methodology where you have, call it, full licenses and satellite licenses is a methodology that has been used in other states as well. Um, and we believe that is a good compromise solution to kind of get us back in the game. Senator Albritton says he believes there's support in both houses, and he rejected suggestions that it's too late in the session and too ambitious in an election year. We as legislators, if we came here to do the e easier jobs, then we need to have another job, all right? We need to take on those tough things that the state requires. This is one thing that requires the state's attention. We need to take action on this now. The racetracks would have the right to match any bid for the gaming licenses, but it is possible they could be outbid. Passing a constitutional amendment to allow for gambling requires a supermajority in both the House and the Senate. If it clears those hurdles, the voters would get the final say in November. Reporting live from the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. Hi, Brendan.